if you couldn't tell from the masks, we are doing a Mardi Gras themed look. The eyes look something like this, inspired by my Mardi Gras masks and the colors of Mardi Gras. Um, looks just something fun and different, which I explain at the end. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, then stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to go ahead and use an eye primer. Um, I am just grabbed my e.l.f. Um, eyelid primer. Any kind of primer would work. Just because I'm going to be using um, a cream eyeshadow after this, this will help to stop that from creasing, which cream shadows and jumbo pencils and all that always crease, especially if you have oily eyelids, which unfortunately I'm starting to get and I've had on and off. So I'm just working a little bit of the primer into my eye and giving that a second to set. And while it does, I will explain what we're doing next. Next, we are going to take a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in 608 Cottage Cheese. It's a white shimmery pencil. Um, go ahead and swatch this. It's like looks like that. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, shine. You could use milk. I decided to use this because I just want to give the yellow something extra to kind of grab onto and a little bit of extra oomph. But you can use whatever. This is going to go on the inner tear duct area here. We can always work this out later. You just want to get the product on. And it's going to go right in the inner third of the eye. And I'm going to use my finger to kind of pat it in. That way it really won't crease on me. Like that. Then next we're going to go in with lemon. Um, I don't have a really dark green cream liner. Um, so this is 613 Lemon from NYX. It's kind of a yellowy green color, kind of like a lime green. That's going to go in the middle part of my eye. Stopping at the crease. Just like so, taking my finger, pushing and blending that in. Then last but not least, we are going to be using six, uh, what is this? 618, which is my favorite one, purple. And it's got this really pretty, just purpley blue color. Love that. So it's going to go onto my outer corner. And this base step, which is optional, you could just go from the eyelid primer to the next step. Um, the reason I am putting these colors down is it will help to intensify any colors put on top of them afterwards in terms of eyeshadow. Um, you could also use a black jumbo pencil um, or a white jumbo pencil all over the eye or even a black gel liner. Um, and if you place colors on top of black, that will help them stay um, pigmented and colorful as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with the yellow and I'm going to take, I'm going to take this yellow from, who is this? This yellow from NYX, and wow that just went all over my hand. It's called Chick. It's a bright, bright yellow. Um, I know MAC does a bright yellow too. I don't know if that's in the pro collection or not, but Nick is nice and ch NYX is nice and cheap. Take that on a shade brush from EcoTools, just a small brush that I can really pack the color on. And this yellow is very fallouty. Does fall out a lot. So you want to make sure you really, really pack this color on. I'm gonna go in with this green that I just remembered I had. This is from my Perfusion baked palette, the lace one. Um, but any kind of green color would work. Wildfire would work from NYX, like I just said. Um, just any kind of green color that you fancy. Apply that on my brush, and that is going to go in the middle. Just packing the color on. We're not worried about blending right now. We're just placing color. Okay, like that. 
Now I'm wiping my brush off and I'm going to go in with two different um, colors for the purple. I'm going to go in first with this e.l.f. Um, e.l.f. palette. It doesn't have a name, it just has these bright colors. I'm going to go in with this bright purple here. Any kind of gel, um, not gel, jewel toned purple or bright purple or just purple that you happen to like would work. And we're going to apply that to the outside. I'm also going to apply a little bit of the green that's in the palette to the green part just because I want to deepen that up just a little bit and it's a little bit darker than the profusion color. Okay, and now comes the blending part now that I have like a rainbow <laughs> eye going on. I got follow up which I'll fix later. Now comes blending. Now you can just do this two ways. You can take a blending brush. Um, any of these would really work, they're all blending brushes. Or you can take the little brush that you have and use that. I'm going to actually kind of do a mixture of both because I really want these colors to blend seamlessly and they're not colors that really blend. Take my brush and I'm just going to go on that line where the colors meet and I'm going to fan back and forth. Like so. Now I've noticed that my yellow has kind of gone missing a little bit. Take some more yellow on my brush and I'm going to sweep that into the green. Wipe it off and then do some more blending. Now I'm going to do the green and the purple the same way. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to take this small blending brush, this is the uh, highlight brush from EcoTools, and I'm going to run this on the top in the crease just to kind of blend these colors out a teensy tiny bit. We are going to put a transition color up there in a second, but just really want to blend that top line out. Like that. Now I'm going to take, if I can find it, my uh, 224 from MAC, and I'm going to take my wedge that's kind of been destroyed a little bit, but so I'm going to put a little bit on my uh, 224 from MAC, and this is going to just go right lightly into the crease where those colors meet. Just like that. Just to help them blend a little bit and then blend up. Now is the point if you think you need uh, more color, go ahead like and apply that. more color. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this is Brulee from MAC and I'm going to put that on my, uh, what is this? 239 brush? 139 brush? I'm not really sure. I can't remember. The numbers are rubbed off, so I can't really read it. But I'm going to take Brulee from MAC on the MAC brush. And just going to put a little bit of this matte highlighter, matte eyeshadow, into my highlight. And I'm going to take my Bent Sonia Kashuk Bent Liner Brush and my gel liner from Physicians Formula for blue eyes and I'm going to start at the outside and make a pretty dramatic wing by making a line and the nice thing when you have big bold makeup like this is it's fun and you can kind of just own any mistakes that happen because you're not trying to make it look natural. And now before I put mascara on, I'm going to clean up under the eye because I do have some fallout. 
taking my Invisible Concealer by CoverGirl and my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I am just going to put this under the eye and bring it down. I'll use it as a highlighter and use it to make a pretty uh, defined outer edge. You could also use masking, or not masking tape, excuse me, um, just regular tape, the little cl plastic clear kind, um, roll it on the back of your hand a few times and then you can stick it there before you apply any um, colors, even the cream eyeshadow, um, and you will have a nice crisp line. Or you can just do it with your concealer. I just did. I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a small brush that I was using before, and I'm gonna take that jewel tone purple, and I'm just going to carry that to the outer third, almost half of my eye. I'm going to go in with Luxor from NYX. It's this pinky purple with a blue blue dual chrome, my favorite NYX color ever. Um, and that's going to go on the inner part here, connecting up to the yellow that's in the inner corner. Like that. Now it is mascara time. I'm going to apply some Girl Luscious Plumpy Mascara from Revlon. And don't be afraid to apply a few coats because you're not going to wear false lashes with this look, which this look would look great with big false lashes. Um, you're going to want your eyelashes to stand out, so do apply a few coats. So I finished both eyes, um, and I'm going to go ahead and just do kind of a fun lip. Now, if obviously you're going to wear this out, um, unless you are going to Mardi Gras or Mardi Gras fan party, you'd probably wear like a pink lip or a nude lip or something kind of understated. I'm going to go all out. I'm going to take my purple jumbo pencil and apply this to my lips. So take a lip brush just to kind of blend that in. The idea is just to get some purple down underneath. Then we're gonna go in with Milani 3D Glitzy Glamour Gloss in 39 Fashion Diva. It's a pink that has a dual chrome of purple and blue right on my lips. Then, just because I'm having fun with this Mardi Gras themed stuff, I'm going to take this pink baked eyeshadow from my Profusion palette and go in with my lip brush. I'm going to make a highlight. Like that. So this is my Mardi Gras inspired and Mardi Gras themed makeup. Um, it's actually kind of something different for me. It's kind of more bold and out there and um, something that's actually really fun to do and to enjoy. So if you want to see more looks like this, please Give this video a big thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, it's free, um, and send me your requests. I'm always loving to take requests because it's fun and easy, and you guys get to see what you want, and I get to do something different. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.